Hi there, just a couple reminders before you take the state assessment this week. On day one, you will have five reading passages and you will answer 35 multiple choice questions. On day two, you will read three passages. You will have seven multiple choice questions, two short response questions, and one extended response question. And on day three, you will read three passages, have five short response questions, and one extended response question. Remember, the only thing that anybody can ever ask of you is that you give 100%, that you try your best. If you're giving 100%, you have nothing to worry about, okay? That is all I care about, is that you are demonstrating what you know and doing your best. Little short response review. Remember our strategy, race, restate, answer, cite, explain site explain all right and what the word site means is when you use direct quotes to support your answer for example notice in this sample response we have restated the prompt we have answered the question and we have cited and explained our evidence twice so it's r-a-c-e-c-e -C -E. okay Breaking down your extended response question. You can often start with the first sentence in the entire prompt as the first sentence of your introductory paragraph. We highlight this in blue or we underline it. Then we draw our green arrows down to our bullet points because we know we have to get our bullet points in our introductory paragraph. We have to reword them and make them complete thoughts and complete sentences. So this introductory paragraph would have one, two, three, four sentences. After we use our bullets in our introduction, we then use them as our yellows, or the first sentence of our body paragraphs. In our body paragraphs, we have to support our yellow statements with our red evidence. Our evidence comes from direct quotes and explanations. We get our quotes from the passages and we explain these quotes and describe how this evidence supports our yellow claim or our yellow statement. Make sure you are referring to both passages in your extended response. From there we have to write in our own conclusion paragraph and our conclusion paragraph should be guided by our, our introductory paragraph that's why we wrote this in green make sure you are indenting your paragraphs make sure you are introducing your quotes and make sure you are explaining those quotes well remember your bullets are key here you use them in your introduction, then you prove them with evidence in your body paragraphs, and you will finally use them again in your conclusion. Oh, and have confidence.